for the algorithm, we're going to be checking out this brand new Travis Kelsey and Taylor Swift knife. Just kidding. Let's light it up. We're going somewhere. Yeah. What is that? We place? are going to Salt Lake City, Utah. For Blade Show West! That means more content. More content. More new knives. More new knives. And it's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. yeah. Awesome, people. So uh, go ahead and sound off in the comments down below if you're going to be at Blade Show West. Be sure to holler at us while we're there. You might even end up on one of our videos. Absolutely. Yeah. If, uh, if you see us there, do not be afraid to come up to us and yeah. say, hey, and if you want to be in a video, let us know because... Sometimes we feel a little awkward asking, but... That's the best part about this industry, yeah. though, is, is getting to see all the people. So we want to see and meet all of you guys. Yeah, absolutely. So uh, we have a whole lineup here. Uh, I think I'm going to override you and start with my favorite of the whole show, which is this new purple Barlow. Yeah, that thing is absolutely slick. So uh, we kind of got a preview of this uh, for Case President's Day, but that is going to be our purple barn board jig case knife this is our exclusive in uh, a barlow pattern which we haven't seen case make a barlow in a while mm -mm. it's been it's been a minute and so we're talking it brass band brass liners vault pattern was it mm, well it yes no kind of but no i can't remember exactly it, it, what he it said. was ish going to be i think if i remember correctly but no the people spoke and they want more barlows. they want more barlows that is that is absolutely what it has been a uh, resounding uh, message that we have heard from all of you so this one is going to be a two blade configuration right there and half stops on those nice purple barn board jig that's going to be our exclusive and got the little uh, case logo right there. Nickel silver on the bolsters and on the shield. Brass pins, brass liners, and just a beautiful knife, I, I got to say. I'm typically a single blade Barlow kind of guy, but this one is uh, really nice. Also, while we're talking about this, we've had a lot of people really excited about the new Queen USA made knives. Yes. yes. And we've got more patterns coming out very yes. soon. Yes. Um, and a lot of people have been asking about a Barlow there. You might see one of those. So, um, really excited about that. But this one right here is absolutely gorgeous. And honestly, so I, I actually want to bring this up because we do get comments about this. But we didn't handpick this. We just grabbed a box off the shelf out in the showroom. And, I mean, it, it looks good. We did, Like I said, we did not handpick this. You were it there with the me. the first one on top. And I didn't even go behind the counter to grab the box. I asked, you know, one of the people behind the counter to grab it for me. And she just grabbed a box, handed it to me. And this is what we got. So um, just a beautiful knife. That one's coming in at $69.99. And while we're riding that train, let's go ahead and show in that same series the full-size copper lock right here. In the purple barn board jig, you'll see a little bit of kind of Appaloosa look on the I outside there. I love seeing the white on there. I'd, I, I'd like to find me the bar. I, I'm probably going to get the Barlow. I need to stop buying knives, but I, I think I'm going to dig through one to see if I can find some with a little bit more white on it. So, and that's just personal preference. You know, it, a lot of people put a lot of stock in wanting the front and the back to look identical, very similar, especially when it comes to like stag or something like that. But I really dig, and of course, everybody knows that I collect my mini copper locks, but this is a full-size copper lock with the worn cliff blade. Not a huge fan of worn cliff blades, but it works really well on this knife. It does. I think it's really pretty. This one's coming in at $83.99, True Sharp Surgical Steel on the blade right there. That's another tongue twister you Again, really well. yeah. <laughs> it's taken a lot of practice because, <laughs> you know, I was not always good at saying that. So, um, nickel <laughs> silver on the bolsters. <laughs> Say, say those both at the same time. What? True, true sharp surgical steel, nickel, nickel silver. Silk. Sil ah, see, I can't. True sharp, steel, true sharp surgical steel, true sharp surgical steel, nickel silver on the bolsters and Perfect. the shield right there. Uh, brass pins and liners. So that is all stuff that I have had to practice quite a bit. It did not come naturally, but nice, uh, nice fit and finish on this, and I think it's gorgeous. I, that one might have to go in my uh, copper lock. Collection. Yeah, you do. We'll you do collect those so, quite a bit. That one's uh, really gorgeous. Where do you want to go next? Well, let's uh, let's do uh, let's do one budget friendly, 
Um, let's do a sin cut. We, we put one of those on the show last we week. We did, and this one is called The Crowley. So if you're a fan of Supernatural... Oh, this really? Is, I, I don't think that's where it got uh. its name, honestly. <laughs> but that's just what came to my mind. Anytime I hear the word Crowley, I'm a huge Supernatural fan. And actually, my wife and I just started watching Lockwood & Co., and it's basically a British version of Supernatural, uh, from what I can tell. Like really? It's, it's kind of along those Lockwood same lines. Lockwood and Co? Lockwood Is and Co. Is that on Netflix? Yes. Okay. And uh, it's it's this futuristic kind of thing-ish, but it's like an alternate universe where they're doing like ghost hunting and, and that kind that of thing. That right up my alley. So That's it's, it's really cool and really funny, really well done. I dig it. I'm kind of a nerd when it comes to that kind of stuff, but this one's called the Crowley, and that's what that reminded me of was uh, Crowley from Supernatural. I'm a huge Supernatural nerd, and this is a really nice knife coming in with D2 on the blade steel, nice coated blade, green micard on the handles, black stainless steel on the liners right there, and on the reversible pocket clip, and it is a button lock with ambi thumb studs all coming in for $47.05. Forty-seven oh five. Oh, and notice, I uh, I flicked that open with my thumb and without using my wrist. So I just wanted to put that out there. Uh, <laughs> I've been working on that because I was told that I needed to work on that. I've had some people tell me that I make knives look too easy, and then I've also had some people tell me that I need to work on m being better at it. So, uh, you know, I can't please everybody. I'm trying. Um, <laughs> so, oh, people yeah. pleaser over here. <laughs> I get a little snarky with it sometimes too. Um, kind of along those same lines, let's keep it in that budget-friendly uh, avenue with this Boker Plus. This one is the Bend. It's a Lucas Burnley design, nice and compact. And he gets around, don't he? He does. He, I, I mean, I don't know about his personal life, but <laughs> um, so <laughs> this is a Burnless, Burnley design, Boker Plus Bend right here. And it is assisted. It has a thumb disc opening as well as the blade flipper on the backside. And it is a liner lock with those blue stainless steel liners right there. Blue I pocket clip. That. And uh, the blue kind of not really matching, but uh, close on the spacer a and bit of the... A turquoise. Yeah. Uh, and the integrated lanyard loop right there. And I like... I'm, I'm digging a lot more people are doing thumb disc openings, especially in the Boker mm -hmm. line. They're doing a lot of that type stuff. Uh, this feels like... I don't know what exactly this handle material is. This one's brand new. We just got it in. We don't even have it up online as of the filming of this. But this one, it feels like almost like an FRN maybe or it. some kind of material. It's it's somewhere along in there, some type of polymer material. Uh, but it's textured really nicely. It's not overly aggressive, but it's enough. And that's a great little beater EDC for 5266. I, I dig it. For D2, coated blade. Assisted opening, thumb disc, flipper. It's him that did the CRKT tuna, right? Yeah. I kind of, I kind of see where his mind's at on his designs a little bit. You can, you see a little bit yeah. of influence with the handle. And and a lot shape. of yeah, a lot of designers kind of kind of stay in that uh, that wheelhouse. They'll do multiple designs that are similar to each other because they kind of have the same feel. They they kind of have the same thing that they, they're looking for in a knife. And, I'd say he's one of the best at a mid-size. Yeah. He's also done some of their more slender uh, stuff that, uh, like the, the the slimmer, like more gentleman EDC yeah. as well. So he's got some variation, but you can also see uh, a lot of the similarities in a lot of his knives as well. Yeah. And, and I dig that. Yeah. That's a good nice. one. Yeah. 52... 52.66. That's an easy one to remember, ain't Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now, we've got some new knives that we actually own the brand. These are USA made. These are Black Jack knives. Black and Jack. these are really, really cool. These don't even have a name. And we kind of wanted to give you guys a preview of them. So, Black Jack knives, this one right here, USA made. I'm going to show it to you right here. That's going to be tan my card on the handles. S35VN on the blade steel. Our brand, uh, it's going to be a one-way pocket clip, excuse me. I almost said reversible. But stainless steel on the liners. It is a liner lock. S35VN on the blade. It's assisted opening, and it's also got the blade flipper as well as the ambi thumb studs. 
And that one's coming in under a hundred bucks, right at ninety nine dollars. That's clean. USA S thirty five, hundred bucks. That's I mean that's that's a good deal. That's and really nice grind lines on that too. I Family owned company. Yep. Come on, Love it. on now. And kind of staying in that same vein is going to be the next in our Black Jack Knives series. Now, this one, we don't have a price because this one wasn't even built in the system when we started filming this. Oh, this today. is new, new, new. So this one, the, uh, Diana was building these in our computer system. She had already built that one. She had not built this one when we started filming. So I this one, I assume. By the time I edit this, I should have a price. Below. Yeah. So. That and be. that's going to be my carta on the handles as well. Uh, I think I'm pretty sure that's S35 VN on the blade still on that one as well. It's assisted opening again with the ambi thumb studs, again with the blade flipper, and just really nice and solid looking. I uh, like it. I dig it. So, and it's going to be close to the same price point. Don't know for sure, but it should be right there. Yeah. Somewhere. So, new blackjack knives coming down the pipe. We're showing you stuff that you haven't seen before. Now, we've also got some that you have seen before. And that's going to be the next three knives. Which one do you want to go with first? Dip, 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 dip. Let's go with the Microtech. The Amphibian with the Ramlock right there. And the Ramlock has been all the rage coming from Microtech this year. They're more affordable. They're great EDC knives. They're going to be legal in more places than the Automatics. And this is also coming in with their M390 MK, which is their special blend of M390 that Bowler makes for them. They tweaked the price, uh, I mean the, the price, geez. They tweaked the ingredients just a little bit to optimize it for uh, Microtech. And it's also like with that ram lock, it makes it super fidgety and just super smooth. And this is their first recurve blade in these. And I, I dig it. I dig it. I know a lot of people it. are not huge fans of recurve blades, but I love it. They definitely that, let us know in our blade shape video. Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, and a lot of people actually admitted, and I love this, a lot of people admitted, I suck at sharpening, that's why I don't like recurves. Most people are, are just going to... Why? Whoa. That's never happened. That was weird. Never seen that one. I'm glad we've got the monitor up so we could actually witness yeah. that because that was that was strange. Um, but, I mean, the RAM lock from Microtech has been phenomenal. And I dig the pocket clip. Like, look at that etching right there. It's, right. it's super, like, detailed and dark. I love it. I think everybody knows if you're getting something from Microtech, it's going to be really good. Yes. <laughs> so. Yeah, I mean, and, I mean, we did our video there showing their production process. And they make sure they have so many steps in place to ensure quality control, to make sure it's a good knife. I'd call them the Chick-fil-A of knives. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I like it. You're, going, <laughs> you're just going to get quality every time. And we not only have that in tan, but we've also got it in black. So all the same features, all the same specs, just going to be in black. And also that backspacer right there just looks really slick. You can see the internals of that. I can't tell lock. which one I like more. I, I, as soon as I think of a reason, I like the, the tan more. I like the black. It's just, they're both really nice. I guess what I'm trying to say is you just need to get both. And for this nice full-size EDC. Oh, it is full-size. 300 bucks. Made in America. Great quality control. Great components. G10 on the handles. And built so well. Right out of the box, I mean, I, you can't go wrong with that right there. I would say that one is Tacti Q. <laughs> that, <laughs> that was so cringy. <laughs> and uh, that, that's going to be the cringe take of the week right there. Um, yeah. That one. Oof, that just gives me the heebie-jeebies. All right, we've got one more knife on the show. And I know you've seen it online. We finally got a chance to see it in person. We finally just got these in, and that is the SE Sencillo. Sencillo? Sencillo? And really Those Appalachians it. would read it Sencillo. <laughs> wow. So this is a really, really cool blade, and if you get in on this, uh, th this first batch here, it's going to say first production run Ooh. on there, and also this first batch is going to be in A2. Made in the USA now. Going, 
Excuse me. Indigestion. Yeah, that was a bad heartburn right there. Okay. Now, going forward with this knife and this line, these are going to be in Magna Cut. However, this one in particular is in A2, this first run of them. Uh, really nicely done. Brown burlap micarta on the handles with that shaped uh, handle, that, that 3D shaped handle that they're known for. And just really well done with a nice Kydex sheath and the belt loop right there. It Which, reminds me of like the SC three if you like took a hammer and it was a cartoon you just smashed it and it kind of got squished a little bit <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> it's a little flattened right there i like that yeah it's absolutely really cool. and i mean really really well done made in the usa and that one's coming in at 164.95 and a2 is a great steel i dig it i know a lot of people are probably going to be holding out for the magna cut version but you're not going to get that first production run so right i mean there's a trade-off there and like I said, A2 is a really good steel and it's going to do really well for a bushcrafting outdoor fixed blade knife. I, I dig that. So that's what we got going on. Like he said, right after this airs, we, we are actually on our way to Salt Lake City. And so we're, we're really excited to get to see everybody again. It's been a few months and now we're getting back at it. Uh, this is going to be a busy month for us because right after we get back from Blade Show West, we've got one week and then we've got our fall festival here at the store. So that is going to be huge. That is going to be like our own little mini Blade Show because we're going to have all of our reps in here. They're going to be here helping customers. We've got a ton of giveaways. So if you can make it here, that's going to be the last weekend of October, around the 27th, 28th-ish. And so if you can make it here, that's going to be that Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We've got a ton of giveaways. All of our reps are going to be here. We've got a ton already slated to be here. I know uh, LT Wright's going to be here. I think Shane's going to be here, maybe. So, I mean, ton of people. Mari's going to be here. Ocaso. Um, Rick Valdez from Ocaso is going to be here. Really excited about that. The guys from Crispy Donut CDC are going to be here. Super excited about that. Seth is going to be here from We and Civivi. Really excited Good opportunity. To see him. You have these guys' knives. Bring the box. Have them sign it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. So And it's free. <laughs> and then the weekend after that, we're going to be heading down to Georgia, to Watkinsville, for Georgia Bushcraft. These next fall 30, gathering. 30 days are going to zap us. <laughs> yes, yes. We're going to be. That's what I keep saying. Yep. And then we got he's Black just Friday, making fun of me. I, and then Christmas, and it's just it's just a big. It's we're just, we're in a snowball and then we've going got downhill right, right, right after that too. So it it's our busiest time of the year. Thank you for. <laughs> so what's in your pocket? There's no end in sight. There's no I end in sight. That. What's in my pocket? Well, since we talked about the copper lock, I've actually got my case. People mini don't carry copper. those. Put that back up. Oh, I carry them absolutely. <laughs> And uh, really, I don't care if you don't think people carry them because you're wrong. Um, you could be wrong. It happened. And so I've got my mini copper lock right there. This is in the yellow composite handle, so really classic handle. And this is also in their carbon steel blade. So you can see that on the number right there. This is the carbon steel blade. I love carrying carbon steel blades. Um, and this thing is in my pocket. I've usually got either my Pawpaw's knife or a mini copper lock on me at all times. So that's that's typically what I carry. And I mean, I might have another knife like, oh no, my Uinta right there from CDC, the collab. But um, other Ain't than that, that pretty. Yeah. So I've got my case mini copper lock. What do you got? I went with um, uh, my Tour Sutor. <laughs> tour Sutor. Uh, a gift from uh, one of our former employees here, Alex. Hey yo, hey yo. Uh, one of my favorite knives. It's just very gentleman carry like, and it great. broke in really nice uh, for you too. Yeah, I love it. So it is um, definitely one of my top top favorite knives that I carry. Absolutely. And then Greg, he's just, what's he gonna? Whoa. Okay, Greg's got his uh, flashlight that uh, Taylor Martin from Best Damn ADC made him buy because he watched a video and fell in love with it. And so he's got that. And then he's also got the Wazoo fire starter and ceramic blade. Yeah, those there. flashlights are stupid. Hey. 
<laughs> got one too. <laughs> yeah, mine came off of Timu. Yep. Next up <laughs> is going to be the uh, Timu information leak where <laughs> Isaac loses all of his money out of his bank account. Oh, and that's for my indigestion. Looky there. We this gotta episode. Go. Episode. <laughs> this episode brought to you by Tums. <laughs> All right, well, uh, let us know any thoughts, concerns, questions. Uh, and let us know what you, like, any ideas that you guys want us to, like, because we're all the time looking for new ideas for new videos. Anything that you guys want to see. Give us uh, reasons to get out of the office more. It seems like every time we do, though, we just don't get the interaction that we need to keep doing it. You guys seem to really like to see us behind a table. We want to do more than that, so we need your help. Share, you want to see us? Away from this table, we need your likes, your shares, your comments, and your engagement. So, uh, the more of that, the more of the other stuff we can do. So Absolutely. That's how we get the boss to say yes. Yep. <laughs> Are you Pat McAfee quote? <laughs> yes. And as Pat McAfee always says, this show sucks, and we're glad you watch it. That's, we're just glad you watch it. Thank you. Thank you. Also, stay <laughs> tuned for more episodes of our pack podcast. We've got our studio set up for our podcast as well that we're going to be putting more episodes out and also trimming those down so you can get little snippets and little clips Absolutely. of kind of some of the behind the scenes stuff that we see in the uh, knife and blade industry so yep so thank you guys so much as always it's been me tc here with smoky mountain knife works along with isaac and greg we love you guys toodles out